Hi, today we are going to talk about developing listening skills for secondary students. And we're going to look at three different parts. Firstly, we're going to look at the importance of developing listening skills. We're going to look at some difficulties that students may face in listening. And finally, we're going to look at some suggested classroom activities that you can use in your classroom. So, why is listening so important? And why are developing listening skills so important? So, listening is a foundation for other skills. From listening, it prepares you for speaking in particular, but also for reading and for writing. So having a good knowledge of listening is very, very important for the other skills. But I find that students have real problems with listening in the classroom. So what issues are there? So in my experience, students face a number of problems when they're listening in class. Firstly, maybe they don't have enough vocabulary to be able to listen clearly. Maybe the topics are boring and they're not interested. Would you like to listen to something that's not interesting? Thirdly, maybe they're listening to different accents. Different English accents can be a challenge for students. Next, maybe the speaking that they're listening to is too fast for them and they can't keep track of what's going on. And maybe they just don't understand anything. So these are all challenges that your students may face. And what happens if they have these challenges? Students may become, they may lack confidence, they become confused, they become disheartened, they lose the motivation to want to learn English and probably they'll become very bored. If you can't understand what is being said it can be quite boring and obviously they'll become very frustrated. I want you to think about when you listen in your language, in your native language. When you're listening to someone speaking, you know what they're going to talk about. The topic is not really a surprise to you. You can understand their accent most of the time. You have the vocabulary. You have the language. So listening should be easy for you. But obviously in a second language like English, things become much more difficult. So let's look at the solutions for how we can help students to listen better. Firstly, we need to provide challenging but achievable listening tasks. So they must push the students but also enable the students to be able to complete the task successfully. We want to provide interesting topics. We want to support the students with vocabulary or background information they need to complete the listening task. We want to give clear instructions so the students know exactly what they have to do. And we want to give the target for the listening what is the aim of this listening activity? So now we're going to look at some suggested classroom activities. And there are three basic steps to doing a listening activity. We have pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening. So pre-listening, we're going to look at lead-in activities, look at teaching key vocabulary and the pronunciation of this vocabulary. We're going to explain the situation, go through the questions and give 
clear instructions and also give instruction checks to make sure that students understand what you're saying. So let's look at some ideas around lead-in. So we have discussions in pairs or in groups about the topic that we're going to listen to. We have class interviews where you can go around, you can ask different questions about what students know about the topic. We also have something called a word cloud that I will show you later. And you can play guessing games or you can brainstorm and predict about what you're going to listen to. And all of these can really help students prepare for the listening activity. So let's look at some ideas. So firstly, we're going to look at predicting. Now, here we have some vocabulary that is related to movies. And we want students to brainstorm what they know about different kinds of movies. Let's look at some brainstorming that we can do about types of movies. This is just a ex short example of what you can do. So from movies, we have horror. And horror, let's think of some words that we can use when describing horror films. We've got scary, we've got ghosts, we've got zombies. Okay, let's think of another type. We have science fiction, we have aliens, we have space, we have the future. Now doing this brainstorming activity allows students to activate their prior knowledge, share with friends, extend their learning and also motivate them for the learning, for the listening activity that's coming. Another example of a leading activity would be a word cloud. Now, if you look here, we have the example of a word cloud from a script about movies. What you can do is you can take the script of the listening activity, you can put it into a word cloud generator. There's an example on the slide. And it will generate a word cloud. The larger the word means the more it is used in the script. This is a great way of preparing students for the kind of language they're going to listen to and also motivate them and make it very visually interesting for them. So after the lead-in, we need to teach the key vocabulary and pronunciation. We need to explain the situation. We need to go through the questions and we need to give clear instructions. So let's look at the vocabulary. So we have six keywords, and we want students to be able to say the words, we want students to be able to pronounce the words, and we want students to be able to listen to those words. So it's very important to do activities to prepare them to listen to those keywords. We need to do three things here. We need to explain the situation, go through the questions, and give clear instructions. So explain the situation. So we are going to listen to three friends talking. So that's three people. Firstly, we go through the questions and we say we are going to listen to them talking about what kind of movie they are going to see. And in part B, we want to listen and fill in the table with the movie time. Now, while they're listening, it's important that students are aware of the different common listening tasks they may face. We have listen and write, listen and fill in, listen and complete. And you can see here a list of the different kinds of listening tasks they might have to do. Now it's very important for your students to understand, don't listen for everything. They have to be very targeted with what they are listening for. They want to answer those questions we talked about earlier. Make sure you give them the target. What are we listening for? Are we listening for who? What? How? Where? Why? Or when? And make sure your students understand that and don't get too distracted by all of the extra things that they will hear. 
Now, you can break up the listening into different stages. So my suggestion would be that to complete the task, we have a first listening to complete task one, we have a second listening to complete task two, and then for task feedback, we have a third listening with pauses to check through the answers. If you want, you could also have a fourth listening where you play it all back again without any pauses. Okay, now let's move on to some post-listening activities. And we're gonna look at two activities in particular called Correct Me and Rearrange the Audio Script. But with listening activities, there are a number of follow-up speaking activities that you could include, such as role play or discussions based on what the students listen to. But let's focus on two specific activities. The first one is called Correct Me. And this is a combination of reading and listening. You can give your students the script from the listening activity. And now you will read out the script, but you will make some changes or mistakes. And when the students hear a mistake, they can stop you and correct or they can mark it on their script. This is a great combination of reading and listening. The other activity we talked about is rearrange the sentences in the correct order. Now, with this activity, you can give your students the script, but you can mix up and jumble up the order of the sentences. Now, students can work together to put them in the correct order, and then you can listen to the, act the activity again, and students can check their answers. Okay. Now to summarize. So we looked at the importance of developing listening skills and we mentioned that listening is the foundation for the other skills. We talked about difficulties in listening and we looked at some solutions to try and encourage students with their listening. And we looked at suggested activities for pre-listening, while listening and post-listening. So, that's all for today. Thanks very much. Goodbye.